Today, we're diving into Australian history with a burning question. Why was Australia colonized by Britain and not by any other European power? This might seem strange. In the 17th and 18th centuries, European nations were scrambling to conquer new lands. So, what made Australia different? Buckle up, history buffs, because we're about to explore a surprising twist. The first European to set foot in Australia wasn't even British. In 1606, Dutch explorer Willem Janszoon landed on the mysterious southern continent. But unlike the Spanish in the Americas or the Portuguese in Asia, the Dutch weren't interested in colonization. They saw the land as unpromising, especially compared to the riches of Southeast Asia. Why not Australia? There are a few reasons why Australia wasn't a top priority for Europeans. Firstly, the location. Back then, explorers like Jan Soon only saw parts of Australia, and they weren't the most fertile or resource-rich areas. Plus, Australia wasn't along major trade routes. Secondly, focus elsewhere. With the Americas, Africa, and Asia offering gold, spices, and other riches, Australia simply wasn't as attractive. By the 18th century, European empires were expanding again. Britain and France, fresh from setbacks in the Americas, were looking for new territories. In 1770, Captain James Cook charted Australia's east coast for Britain. Just two years later, French explorer Louis-Antoine de Bougainville claimed the west coast for France. It seemed like a potential showdown, but there was a twist. France got distracted by the French Revolution, putting its colonial ambitions on hold. Britain, on the other hand, saw its chance. In 1788, they established the first permanent European settlement in Australia, a penal colony. It wasn't just about punishment. Britain also saw Australia's potential as a valuable territory. There were other contenders. Sweden even planned a secret colony but war forced them to abandon the idea. Spain considered attacking the British colony, but the plan fizzled out. So, why did Britain succeed where others failed? Here's the key. By the late 18th century, Australia finally looked attractive, but Britain was the only major power truly free to act. Once established, Britain wasn't going to let go. They quickly claimed the rest of the continent in the 1820s. Australia's colonization story is a fascinating mix of exploration, competition, and a little bit of luck. Britain's timing and determination secured the vast continent for the British Empire. Thanks for joining us on this historical journey. Subscribe for more exciting content. Remember, knowledge is power, and sometimes it's the key to conquering a continent.